remember when it was the thing to do to have a few social drinks before the junior or senior prom. Well, the days of drinking before high school events are over. Students are now signing contracts promising to remain alcohol and drug free on prom night. Case in point, Aquinas High School. And as Charlotte Stevens reports, that includes a limousine ride to the festivities. How easy it is to remember those pre-prom butterflies when you watch these teens get ready. Tony Ortiz is a senior at Aquinas High School. He and his date rented a limousine to take them to the senior ball. But before this night even arrived, these teens signed written contracts to remain alcohol and drug free for the entire evening. That includes the limo ride to Wilson Commons. And I think it's a really good idea because this being the first year that Aquinas has had their bash, it gives everybody a chance to experience something, plus they're going to have all the activities there. And you don't need to drink because everything is going to be right there for you. Frank Paparone owns Shuffle's Limousine Service, the carrier responsible for taking these kids to their destination. Paparone sticks to the rules when it comes to teenagers drinking in his limos. We don't allow any alcohol in the vehicle inside the vehicle, not even in the trunk. They feel that, well, we've got a limousine, so now they can drink. Well, that doesn't work that way. Uh, it doesn't give them a free ticket to drink. Aquinas and many other high schools are declaring their senior balls and junior proms alcohol and drug free. Some students have a problem with that, but the ones we spoke with didn't seem to mind. No really uh, purpose of drinking anyway. You're gonna have a good time with all your friends. You don't really need to drink or to take drugs. I really don't drink, and I just don't think it's really right for young people like us to drink at these events. After the ball, Aquinas is offering a non-alcoholic alternative. It's called Senior Bash, and students are invited back to school to party some more without alcoholic drinks or mind-altering drugs. Charlotte Stevens, News Source 13. And Charlotte tells us that if the police catch anyone underage drinking alcoholic beverages in a limousine, the owner is liable and would most likely be charged with a misdemeanor.